Hello, and welcome to the Email Security Series Update. This video will cover specifically the email security and APP integration in Async OS 13.5. Cisco Advanced Phishing Protection, better known as APP, leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms together with sender behavior to build an accurate trust model. Any deviation from that model and pattern triggers a deeper analysis in order to stop business email compromise types of attacks, such as identity deception based attacks, leveraging social engineering, and also account takeovers. The integration of Cisco APP Engine into the Cisco Email Security Solution offers a seamless experience for the Security Operations Center team, allowing them to assess the unique behavior of all legitimate senders and providing risk analysis to distinguish good messages from potential malicious ones. To enable and configure the APP integration, we first need to, on the APP portal, go to Manage, Sensors, and here we see no sensors deployed, so we click on Installation. We see the Download Sensor Installer, Cisco SAG, Secure Email Gateway, and then we copy the provisioning key for the organization. Now we need to register the ESA with Advanced Phishing Protection. We go to Security Services, Advanced Phishing Protection, and click the Register button to register the ESA with APP with a provided key. We can see that the service is enabled and what's the registration status. It's possible to rename your sensor without affecting message processing. In my case, I called it my ESA sensor. It's now time to go to incoming mail policies and we can see advanced phishing protection still disabled. Let's click on it. We can now enable it as the last blade in our mail policies. Enable forwarding, meaning we can now send information to the sensor and we can see that it's enabled. Commit your changes and you can check everything and monitor advanced phishing protection. We can see the service in action by tailing the mail logs, sending an email, and making sure it's forwarded to advanced phishing protection via CLI and also on the GUI. The same can be experienced in APP, in the search messages, and we can see here, main master card, we can click on it. And here we see that uh, this message was identified as a lookalike domain, we show more and we have the scoring analysis. Basically, the authenticity of this message appears to be an imposture of MasterCard, of a legitimate domain. We also observe that the mail from does not match the header from domain. We'll drill down on message details for further information on a specific email. Another example shows a potential domain spoof. We click on show more and no SPF record was found for this domain. APP reports like threat trends are also very useful so we can see the amount of spam, attacks versus the messages received also, the type of attacks, like lookalike domains, domain spoofs, and the top policies being hit. I do hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching.